All right, we got an emergency. We have an emergency down at the beach, a snow plow, and it's raining. It's super slick. There was like ice on the road. A snow plow went off the road. That's all I know so far. Off like an older road and not not like a pavement road, like a dirt road when he was plowing down by the beach area. He said it was very close to the pier. So we're coming in hot. I'm trying to get there as soon as possible. And then, yeah, so we are running a service here today we got an emergency call these ones are the ones that we get big time bucks and i believe it's the dot too so the government usually pays the big bills and we upcharge them too but we need to make sure the guy is i believe he's jumped out but we don't want to we don't want a truck rolling down the beach and blowing up all that probably wouldn't blow up but you know you never know so we're heading there right now guys we're going to be doing it i think we have two calls i i only had one but now i have two Good thing we were in the area, too. It would have taken me a long time to get here. So, we just got into Ravenport. Uh, where's the pier? The pier is coming up. They said it was just west of the pier, so we need to... Uh, okay. No, no. Did I pass it? No. Okay, I passed it. I passed it. I passed it. Oh, no. All right. Back up. Back up. All right. I pulled up GPS. I probably should have done that in the first place. All right, the boss is gonna be mad that we're all right. I'm pretty early anyway, but still I shouldn't be I should be super early So it looks like it I passed it, it should be on the left and what well, I knew it was gonna be on the ocean side uh, do, 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 do. There's basketball courts Cars parked. I don't see any okay. It's probably right here. That's probably why I missed it. It's kind of hidden Uh all right, here it is. Here it is, right by the train. Oh my goodness. Holy buckets. All right, this is gonna be tough. Let me jump out real quick. I need to, I need to see kind of what's going on. Where's the guy? Okay. I think he's off. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. So the plow's over. I probably shouldn't be standing here. The plow's over. It's tipping back. Eight of the wheels are not on the ground. We, what, it's just on the belly? Oh my goodness, that, okay. All right, all right. This is this is tough. What is salt spreader? All right, there's not too much salt in the back. I wish there was more. Okay, what we need to do first? Yeah, get your stopping right there. First, we need to put down our supports. This is gonna be tough. It's a big DOT, ten wheeler salt spreader, and snowplow truck. This is pretty. Uh, this is pretty big stuff. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna be getting into position with our crane arm with our boom. We're going to try and get a better angle. Right now, I'm just... We're strong enough to do it. I don't need to be in, in the perfect position. Let me go ahead and jump out here. I got the winch in my hand. All right. How many meters is this? Okay. We have plenty. Go ahead. Attach. All right. We're attached. Okay. Let me double check connections. I'm a little worried it's going to slide to its right when I pull up. I should have went to the right more. But I, I maybe I can move my boom. But... Holy cow guys, we got the booms down, the stands on. We should be strong enough. There's not too much ice underneath us. That, that was the worry. I don't really know why. Okay, look right here. So he was going straight. Okay, I need to get to work. All right guys, so I had to reposition real quick and now we're in a far better position. I was able to get directly over. I was worried about it sliding to the right. And it seems like it's staying on there, but once I, got, I went and put the hook on it, I was kind of like nervous to stand by it. You know, who knows what's going to happen? Some anvil, like avalanche or something. I know like avalanche wouldn't happen here, but still, I was pretty nervous. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. I'm going to jump out. I got the remote in my hand. I just want to be out above vehicles. You know, you never know. So let's start winching. Oh my. Oh, it moved it. All right, there it goes. It's moving our Western Star. That's pretty crazy. I have the supports out, everything. I guess we're on snow too. All right, that is, that's about where I want it. And then we're gonna, okay, perfect. That's about where I want it. Let's go ahead, detach. Come on, come on. There we go, we detached. It's down now. So what I wanna do now, take out the uh, supports, drive forward. There we go. Sports are going out. And then I want to get over to where we were. And then now I can take it up the road. Get it off. And then we will uh, we'll get a bad, we'll, we'll get another guy down here to actually pick it up. I'm just the rescuer. I mean, I guess I can tow it too. But I was going to... I had to run and get another guy. So And we have a, we have a guy on his way. Because I said I, I might need some backup for this. So let's put the sports back on. 
And then, yeah, I called him back up because I didn't know how hard it would be. I kind of thought we could do it, but I just doesn't hurt. Plus, I have two, two jobs here this morning. There we go. So, it must have been a big storm last night. Everybody was plowing. All the streets are plowed. And we had calls last night of, you know, people getting stuck rescuing them and stuff. But then these were some pretty big ones that we just got a call of this morning. So, what we're going to do now is just winch them in. All right, he was stuck on something for a second. There we go. Now, I'm not worried to sit in the truck whatsoever. There we go. Winch them all the way up. See if we can go some more. I'm going to see if I can unfold the supports. Then just kind of slowly drive forward. Pull them out. Maybe pull them into... What is that? An elevator? Alright. What is that guy doing? He thinks he can just drive right in front of me. Alright. We'll pull them over here real quick. And then I think we're good. I'm going to leave him here for right now. We're going to go run and rescue another guy. And then... We will, uh, we'll see. All right, so now that that job is done, we're heading across town. And then I'm going to have my coworker take him back. And you'll get them all fixed up and taken care of. So, there we go. And I, honestly, I think the DOT should be able to handle that. But I think we just want to finish our service for him. Okay, my GPS is telling me to go this way. But it looks like once I get there, there's like a really steep road or something. Hopefully not. All right, keep driving. I'm not in too big a rush for this guy. He said he was just a local local contractor for plowing and he just got stuck at this guy's farmland he just started it uh all right i was just looking at that plow truck i was looking at getting one for myself here but i think i, I gotta <laughs> i gotta get focused so i think we're gonna fuel got a full belly all that good stuff and we are gonna be heading down here and i think the guy was an older gentleman by the way he was talking on the phone i'm not sure if he's still in the pickup it has been like two hours it took me i left for him 45 minutes ago then i was there for like an hour doing the last job so in between that time i don't know what he's doing if he had his wife come pick him up or i think he was a solo guy i'm not sure if he was part of a company i have no idea so we're gonna see if he's there we're, we're just gonna pull it out and he he pretty much just told us told us to uh to get it out of the snow he couldn't get it unstuck and he had no more equipment too so it sounds like he's solo sounds like he's alone so we will uh we'll take care of him there all right here we go we're pulling into the address all right what kind of farm is this he said he was plowing a farm i don't see any sheds or nothing all right so first thought let's run down there kind of look it look at it check it out it's pretty self-explanatory looks like he was going full head of steam and then what happened what is this so he just quit putting the plow down and then got buried or something or his plow quit working but it looks like he almost picked up the plow and then he wasn't plowing anymore then he got stuck hmm he was an older gentleman i mean that could happen you accidentally you know lift up your plow or your foot gets stuck on the gas real quick like i understand you probably have pretty big boots on he didn't he didn't tell me how he got stuck usually i try and ask but i forgot on that one i was kind of in a rush all right, let's go ahead. I'm just going to, just so we don't get stuck, it is fairly easy to get stuck. I'm just going to put down the supports because it doesn't hurt, and we're pretty much on ice. So we're going to put down the supports. It does not hurt, like, at all. Let me get that boom out of the way. All right, so I'm just going to run down here. Our rope is, like, 100 meters long, and this is not 100 meters. So we might as well just use up the rope and winch them the rest of the way. There we go perfect all right let's go ahead and start winching here let me let me see how I, it's kind of interesting to see how it pulls there we go there we go i have it on uh fast winch there but then now once it gets going i don't want to overheat the winch here we'll just do fast until i feel like it's kind of slowing down there we go so we're just gonna pull them out all the way it's not really too big of a deal we'll just do that real quick all right so we're just getting to the end here i should probably let it down i don't like to pick up the back wheels we'll go ahead pick up the supports we'll detach and then our uh my guy just got here and he said he he had a situation with one of his kids or something just got in a crash so what we're gonna do he dropped off the truck 
and he's from here i think he's at his house now i i don't really know but anyway his truck is at the gas station that we just passed by so let me go ahead and pick that up we'll put it we'll put the the cummins there on it was a pretty nice truck actually we'll put that on a bed we'll take it back to the shop and then the dot just called me said thank you say and then i told him i i said i would send the bill here uh monday and then we'll take care of all that so that is that is it for the dot let me go ahead get that truck we'll get him out of here but today's been pretty good that was a pretty crazy first job we usually don't have ones that are that intense that was pretty intense so let me go ahead and get this truck here all right so here's the truck here at the gas station it is still like sleeting it's not really rain it's like a mix and if it keeps going into the night that's gonna turn to turn to snow again we're gonna have another another bad day plus the all the rain and like wetness that because right now the, the like the roads are sloshy they're wet if that freezes over we're gonna have a lot of calls in the morning that's gonna be and work starts you know it's monday morning tomorrow you know business work everybody's going to work and that will be an ice skating rink and yeah we're gonna get a lot of calls so it is like we like to get calls we like to get business but it's kind of bad to think that you know we want people to get stuck if that makes sense it's you know it's but you know we're helping people out too and it's gonna happen anyway so at least we're there to help them out so we're heading down to the cummins hopefully she'll fit on here uh, a little worried with the plow maybe i'll i'll get it back down here i won't winch it from the front even though i kind of kind of want to winch it from the front but then i'll see kind of how the plow is configured you know what never mind we're going from the back all right here let me go ahead and throw my lights on and there we go and we'll go ahead fold her up here or unfold her all right let's get it squared up here uh all right i think it's gonna fit it's fine if the plow's hanging off obviously i just need the wheels it's fine if the plow's hanging off there we go all right slow and steady winter up there we go. I always winch really slow when we're doing the, this stuff. See, I can winch fast, but then once I get it up on here, real nice and slow. There we go. Okay, how's the plow gonna do? All right, this is a pretty big truck. Hopefully it fits up on here. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh no. All right, this is, uh, we're a bit short. I guess I was a little arrogant on the thought that I I thought I could do this. Thought it would work. Uh, what do we do now? X. Let's see if it folds up. We'll see. Come on. Get on those wheels. Oh, nope. It doesn't want to. Can we still? We can still drive. All right. Nobody saw that. We're still driving. I'm just going to take it here to the, uh, to like this open parking lot and then we'll be good. So. That's pretty cool how the tow truck works. I want to do a lot more like repo and rescue videos coming up here too. And actually like make a shop. Let me know what you guys think of that. But there we go. We got them loaded up. <laughs> I was saying I hope I can get the plow like not hanging off. Now I, I didn't get the front wheels on. So that's a pretty rookie mistake by me. But thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you guys want to see more like snow video videos too, please let me know in the comment section. I read pretty much all you guys' comments, and then I try and respond to some, like some, uh, hard some. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.